today we're going to continue our panda session uh, the last time I show you how to actually illustrate the data an example with the volcanoes and the map so you know how to put this data with longitude latitude and uh, in this session I would like to show you how to work with charts how actually you can do it with the charts how to build them with the same libraries so and let's start let's begin let's make our hands dirty first we start with creation of a new class right we want to create a new class um, under the python analytics you create the, uh, the python class let's call it statist or whatever you want to call because we work with the statistics don't forget to add the, ta uh, the data type that is python file here now you have our file and here Mm, as usual we start with import our libraries right so we will import pandas and now with which data we would like to work it's a good question and let's download one file mm, and which file yeah this file will be movies let's work with the movies okay i have my movie csv file let me add it to the folder together with the volcanoes and this is my movie CSV. Basically, we have the film, the genre of the movie, uh, the studio who actually filmed that movie, the score, the Rotten Tomatoes, how does it be liked by audience and by the critics, and different statistics, how much money each movie made, whatever the data is. Okay, uh, we got that. And the very next step will be to go to our statistics folder, we import our library, and as in the previous subject, we actually read it, read from this CSV, right? So we created our data frame. Let's call it just data. We remember, right, in the pandas, when we save the data from one of the resources, it's always data frame. Now we call pandas library. We call pandas library. Now we want to read from it. So read CSV probably. We go to read CSV and here we we pass the name again i will repeat it if the file located the same folder uh, with your python file and the data not in the um, tree structure you don't need to specify the path you can specify just the name but in our case uh, we see here that movie is actually located under the different folder so we have to copy the full path right click copy the path go back to our statist folder and all the parameter we pass as a string right so we passed our parameter to movie csv now we make we need to make sure that we actually able to read this csv file so what are we gonna do uh we we would like to print our statement and inside of this print statement we want to specify the data frame right? and what exactly we are looking for uh, or yeah let's do that actually it's okay either we print the whole data in the first example and then the second example uh, let me pass it as a string random symbol symbols to be able to see that and in the second print statement we would like to see a specific column as in the previous lesson i showed you right let me go to the movies uh let it be film i want to see a list of the films mm, okay okay string okay let me print that Mm, let me close the terminal. Something wrong with my terminal. Okay, let me run it. Okay, so <clears throat> I can see the name of the films. I can find the genre, world world growth, and year. It's a first statement. And under the second statement, we can see only the film names. Good. Now we know how to access to our data. Okay, as soon as we know how to access our data, we would like to actually uh, to see only headers of our table right so basically this is our table and we would like to see the headers it's also possible and in our documentation we found the method which actually returned us uh, this statement so basically we go print uh, data again to our data frame and inside as a parameter we want to see the head so it's that head so now if my logic is correct it should return us 
the all headers from the table. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it does. It returns all headers. Let me clean that. And let me comment out this part so you don't get confused where it's coming from. We don't want to print everything. Let me comment out the data. Okay, now we see it. So we see all the headers. So basically we see that we have five rows and eight columns. So we have shape of our data, which is cool, right? The next step, uh, with what I would like to show you besides the header, what we can do with the pandas, right? Um, be before we go to illustration, of course, we want to see the, uh, the shape, which is formed, right? So let's do that. Print um, data dot shape. So it will go us all the data about that. Here we go. Oh, maybe I don't need to use uh, columns. I'm not sure. Should work. Yeah. So basically, it turns the shame. So basically, in our file here, movies.csv, we have 77 rows, right? And we have eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nice. Now imagine if you have like billions of data, that could be really helpful and it works really fast. Um, because now we have a short example with Excel sheet, but imagine it could be like thousands of records, millions of records. That's where actually our tool comes to play. Okay, now you know how to see the table, right? Mm, what else do you want to see? I want you guys to see the hist the history of the year. So let's show, let's try, let me tr tr show you something really cool. So data, mm, that hist, and now we should pass the parameter. So we want to see historically uh, about data about our movies and let's do it by a year. So it's from capital. So I, I will copy that as a parameter. I will pass it here as a string. Uh, let me clear the terminal here. Okay, and now let me run it. Let me actually comment out the shape. You don't want to see that. I'm just showing you the example what you can do here. Uh, I did something wrong. Awesome. Uh, la, 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 la. What it's saying? Loaded backend library. Matlib is not. Requ it's required plotting. Uh -huh. Remember our previous session, and I was telling you that. Um, those pandas libraries if you would like to use something for visualization uh, you have to use as a bundle An example was with the map in the previous lesson i gave you it's like the folding library for visualization for the map and the pandas for working with the statistic and data the same exactly thing now if we want to build a chart uh, okay we have data but we don't know how to visualize it so uh, what we do we need to import this library but even that before even going that, we need to install it. How to do it? Let's imagine I didn't Google it before, I didn't try it before the session. We go to the Matlib, we copy that issue. I just wanted to show you how actually you solve these problems. Google or ChatGPT nowadays, the best friend. Okay, we go here, uh, Matlib, install, Python, here we go. And the first link coming to us, documentation about the Matlib. Before we install this library, uh, what is actually does? It does plotting. What is a plotting? Then we build the different types of diagrams, whatever, whatever come up uh, in your mind. So basically, um, you can build whatever diagram you want, any chart you want. Uh, you can build different shape you want, as you can see. So this is tool, basically this library, only for visualization, which you're getting from Pandas or other libraries through the reading data. And then you want to represent it in the certain format in the charts. That's the goal of it. Uh, let's install it. Mm. Uh, so let me go plot types. It's okay. Uh, installation, right? Pip install Matlib. 
I'm copy that command, go here, clear my terminal, I want to see it from the scratch, you open your Python terminal, you go here, pip install matlib, now it's installed into my machine, one click, pip install upgrade pip, pop, 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 pop. pip we install later, we don't, I don't want to do it now to waste your time, now I have everything, now let's try to import it, uh, import, how do I know what to type, what to import, uh, popular question, again, uh, let's go back to the documentation, right? Um, let's go back to the documentation. We go to user guide, quick start guide, and it shows us what to type. I copy the first line, go back to my VS code. That's it. As you can see, it's, re it's updated really fast, right? PLT is here. Okay, now it actually should work just fine. Let's try that. Let's try our run. An error, but nothing came. What I'm missing? I'm missing the show. That's what I always forget in that PLT is actually visualization. We're getting our data through the panda here. So this is coming through the panda from this library. And now we want to illustrate it. That show if i'm not wrong it should work fine now yeah here we go as you can see we have created our chart it's basic chart nothing extraordinary we get our data here right it comes with some functionalities uh where you can do settings it's simple one but with this library you can make beautiful ones um Okay, it's basically it what I would like to show for now. Stay tuned for the next session.